Alright guys, so I'm in the back of the Jaguar XF um, I'm gonna tint the back window <clears throat> However, I need to get this parcel shelf out um, So I can get to the back of that light uh, In the back there In order to do that uh, First, it's quite uh, a task to remove everything but uh, I'll get you through it so first thing uh, is to put the back seats down uh, you can access them from the booth so let's do that so now I'm in the booth uh, these yellow tabs here and here you pull on these uh, push on the seats like so, uh, and that releases them. You do the same for the other yeah. side. So trial and error. I'll probably just try and see if I get a new one, or probably not. But basically, instead of trying to yank it on the end, like what I just did, pull it in the middle and just pull off. Comes off like that. Wow, fucking wonder. Anyways, same for this one. Just literally try and pull in the middle. And I have to do the one up, yeah, like so, and it comes off. If you didn't know, now you know. This reveals these uh, four bolts. I think it's T27s. Uh, you just need to remove them, and uh, we go from there. Yeah, so uh, I did say T27s, but it's actually T30s. So these are T30s. Let's take them out. Like so. Yeah, and just take them out and then we go from there. Yeah guys, so an update. I just realized I actually don't need to take this off. Uh, you can leave this on. So just so you know. Uh, next step is to remove this side piece, which I believe there is a tab behind there. So you just on it and should release like so and then you need to sort of pull this forward and up here there is a sort of tab behind here as well so you just need to push it pull it forward uh, so it clears this uh, bolt but yeah so push up on this one same detail on that side get this out uh, now we go from there uh, we need to take this three uh, plastic things out uh, I don't really have a tool for that but you're meant to have like the two prong sort of Try tool. I'm just gonna use a flat blade screwdriver. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. Yeah. Because I'm a bit lazy and I, I didn't want to go back outside. Uh, all I did is just uh, pull on this with a bit of yank uh, and then pull it up enough so I can get my finger there and then just pull it off. Like so. There you go. Nipped. This is how we do it. <laughs> right, next step is to remove this. Uh, so you need to pry it from the back. 
again with something flat like a flat blade screwdriver or something uh, preferably something plastic so you don't really don't the damage here it's like nice and white you know what I mean anyways yeah just right from here there should be a sort of like a, uh, like a bit of plastic holding attaching this bit onto here so there is a screw behind there and this one is definitely T27 so uh, we need to get this out happy days yep so pry this off as you can see yeah it has this thing there and then if you look in there you see that T27 exactly the same on the other side get that out and then uh, we'll take this off happy days so we are uh, bolts out this is what it looks like you have to be careful because the bastard tried to fall along in there so just be careful uh, just gonna try and give you more work so yeah so just try and pry on the top side of it uh, and there are some clips running along the bottom side so you just need to pretty much do that and uh, it comes out nice and easy I like it on the any one side that so literally do the same on the other side uh, here now is a tricky bit because obviously this is the airbag uh, and this bit connects here so I need to be careful trying to remove this um, and to pull this off pull off the liner a bit to get this off and it's just a matter of wiggling I'm just trying to pry this loose from there in the easiest and safest manner possible so the bowl that you removed uh, from the top one uh, this is where it goes in so you definitely need to remove the top bit first as, as you can see so yeah we go again yeah so I decided to move the airbag uh, bolt out of the way which sort of will give me a bit more freedom uh, to flex this thing because the last thing I want is for this thing to kick off so yeah <coughs> okay, we go guys. again so if you look behind here you can see there are two uh, clips as well that goes into these holes respectively so these two needs to pry out and then uh, it should come out nice and easy and just dangle here like this so that's this side done then I need to uh, undo this so this is for the brake light <coughs> on the on the top there uh, and I may need to try this out here as well but I need to remove this from here because this is connected on this which needs to come out we go again just doing the other side now And screw will try its best to uh, come off and fall in there. So, see what I mean? The pastor doesn't want to come out, and then see how to kind of film the.
Yeah, it fell along. I don't think it went that far. I'll find it. Ah, <sighs> exactly my point. Anyways, on with the uh, with the job. Remember, pull up from the top. And then three tabs on the bottom. Should come out. That's easy. Like so. I'm gonna move this bolt as well there for the airbag because I do not want to be messing around with this thing here too much. So take this off. Screw for the sun doesn't fall out. So you can uh, you can rest assured that it's not gonna get lost like the other one. And then yeah, remember it's just the uh, tabs. So, lift up in the back. Happy days. And now, the whole pastel shelf should be able to just pull out, in theory. Like so. Happy days. So I'll just get this out of the way uh, and carry on with my uh, tin tin. Sweet tin all here. That brown wire is for the uh, is for the brake light. It's LEDs. So if you ever need to change your brake light, this is basically what you need to need to change. Yeah. Cool. Happy days and uh, this concludes the uh, video of removing the pasta shell. I hope it helps somebody because I struggled the uh, first time I did it. I still struggle on this one but it's getting easier the more you do it. So yeah, so now I have full access uh, and I can able to uh, to do my business. Happy days.